We have all the children come for their homily. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Monsignor. Yeah, you're too far away. Come on a little closer. A little closer to the screen. Okay, I can see you now. Good morning. I have heard wonderful things from your mommies and daddies about how you've been very attentive to the masses and watching them and praying together on Sunday mornings. And I'm very, very proud of you. Well, today we now, are, we, we now come to Easter. And you look around, and you look around, uh, look around the altar, you see there's some things that are different. Why don't you tell, why don't you tell Deacon Sam and Father Kyle what you see di different? Okay? Monsignor, Monsignor I, just, I just got a wonderful question. And he said, what is that big candle over there? Wow, you see that big candle there? That's called the Easter candle or the Paschal candle. And that reminds us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. I just got a question, Monsignor, about all these flowers up here. Why are there so many flowers on the altar today? Because flowers show life and renewal of life. And they're beautiful. And, and Jesus Christ gave us life, his life. And it's beautiful. And you children, you have the Lord's life. And you're beautiful. Monsignor, I just got another question. There's a, a gold container over there. There's two things over there. I don't understand what those are. Those containers over there have holy water in them. And it's the Easter water. It's a special, special water that's blessed at our Easter vigil and, and reminds us that when we were baptized is when we received the life of the Lord. I got a question, Monsignor. What's this big word that's on on the altar right here. See that word over there? Can you see it? Can you see it? It says, Alleluia. You know what that is? That's the church's whoopee word. It says, whoopee, <laughs> Alleluia. Jesus has risen from the dead. Okay. okay, well, okay. Well, those are good questions. Good job. Now, I've got, I've got a poem I like to read at Easter time. So you like, can, can you listen closely to it now? All right, this is a poem, it's called God's Easter Plan. It's by Carol Green. Dreary, weary was the world on that first Christmas when God sent his son to earth to bring us back to him again. That Christmas baby, Jesus, grew. And when he was a man, he taught the world God's loving ways. He showed God's loving plan. But some folks did not feel God's love in spite of all he's done. They made an angry, hateful plan to kill God's only son. They nailed poor Jesus to a cross and left him there to die. Oh, dreary, weary was the world, and thunder shook the sky. Nearby, a group of women stood to watch until the end, and one was Mary Magdalene. He'd been her dearest friend. Then men put Jesus in a tomb, and Mary said, it's done. But God's plan wasn't finished yet. God's plan had just begun. Then Mary Magdalene went home, and one long night crept by. And one long day, it seemed as if all Mary did was cry. But as the second night grew short and Sunday morn drew near, Mary sat up in her bed. I can't, I won't stay here. His tomb was in the garden. Yes, I'm sure I know the way. I'll sit there very quietly and think of him and pray. But when she got there, Mary found the tomb was open wide. Her Lord, her Jesus wasn't there. They took him, Mary cried. I'll tell his other friend, she thought, as through the streets she flew. I'll wake up John and Peter first, 
they might know what to do. When John and Peter heard the news, they stared at her, then ran, and Mary panted far behind. They all forgot God's plan. John ran fastest. He was the first to peek into the tomb. Just some clothes that Jesus wore lay in that little room. Up came Peter, and the two stepped carefully inside. And then John thought, and then he knew why their Lord Jesus died. We didn't understand, said John, what Jesus meant back then. He said he died to save the world, then come alive again. He's living, Peter, and we are saved, and God's plan has come true. We'll be God's children always now. It's what he came to do. Off they rushed, those joyful men, with news they had to share. They ran right past poor Mary, who was standing weeping there. Flowers danced and dewdrops sang from every leaf and stone. But dreary, dreary was her world, and she felt so alone. Then Mary looked into the tomb, too sad to be afraid, and saw two angels sitting where her dearest friend was laid. Why do you weep, the angels asked. And she could barely say, My Lord is gone. My Lord is gone. They've taken him away. Why are you weeping, asked the voice. Why are you look who are you looking for? Are you the gardener? Tell me, my Lord. My, tell me where my Lord is, if you are. That gentle voice, so full of love, spoke to her once again. Mary, her risen, her risen Lord, said, and Mary knew him then. Teacher, Mary cried, and reached to touch him. But he said, I must go to my father. Tell my other friends instead. I'm going to my father. He's your father too, you know. He's my God, and he's your God. Tell the others, Mary, go. Flowers danced, and dewdrops rang from every leaf and stone. But Mary Magdalene was gone and the garden bloomed alone. I've seen the Lord, her glad heart sang, and now I'll run and tell. He lives, my Lord and dearest friend. He lives and all is well. Oh, dreary, dreary is the world when we feel all alone. But then the Savior calls our name, and we know we are God's own. And now, children, we always give you a little blessing. And also, Deacon Sam, Father Kyle, and I are going to give you a little blessing, and you make the sign of the cross, okay? And God's blessing come upon you all, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.